is that? It's meant to be me and you, Dee Dee. What the fuck? How is that? Oh shit. That's cool. Welcome to this video. This is going to be how I built this bedside table. Obviously a Valentine's Day gift saying I love you and then Christina in epoxy. I've done one cool pattern here, another cool pattern there. The letters were hard to do and the epoxy was hard to do, but I did it. I've also built the frame and these drawers and these drawers are painted. That's meant to be the couple. And this bottom one is also painted. So the video is going to consist of how I built it. First, I built the legs, the frames. So I'm going to break this tutorial down into parts. The first part is going to consist of the legs and the frame. The next will be the making of the drawers, then the painting on the insides, the top, the epoxy, and finishing off the product. The first step was to build the legs and the frame. I cut three spotted gum strips around a height of 500 millimeters, squared them off to act as a side wall of the table, and then repeated this for the other side, the back, and the base of the table. It looks very unstable the way I'm cutting it because I don't have a big enough table saw and um, there's no other safe way to do it. Next was to glue them up with clamps. So I put all three pieces together, chuck some glue on them and then clamp them together. For some reason they weren't perfectly square. So I set up a funky little system you see here to make them perfectly square and the same height. The next step was to glue these bad boys together, clamp them and then screw them up. I must admit I had a lot of difficulties doing this for some reason. Um, but I managed to do so and was very happy with the result of the frame. Then the sanding process was next. I did all the big spots with a 50 grit belt sander. Sanding for some reason always takes the longest and it's the worst job, but one of the most important. After I finished with the 40 grit, I used the orbital sander going all the way up to 320 grit. Next, it was time to finesse some drawers. Hard to calculate the exact measurements for the drawers as there were more factors you had to consider than I thought. I used some nice plywood, cut the faces into the correct lengths, glued them, clamped them together, put some nails in. Then I repeated the process for another drawer, also installed some rolls off camera and made my first drawer and my second drawer. Um, I was super surprised with how well I did them. Working for the day, I'm gonna go drive and pick this uh, painting up. Let's see how it is. Picked it up from the painter just then and it looks insane, check it out. Oh my days, and he painted here, gold as well. Look how beautiful that is. After I received the paintings from both my painters, the Zelda one and the couple one, I added a nice spotted gum cover to one of them and a marabou to the other, because um, I thought the transparency of the colors would look nice. To do this, just chuck some glue on the cover, clamp the front of the drawer and put some nails in the back. The next part, the top, definitely the most time consuming and the one I made the most mistakes on for many different reasons. I had to calculate the size of the letters, make the letters, make the mirror background, and also make those two little patterns that took forever to do. There were a lot of mistakes making this top and a lot of ways I should have done it better. One massive mistake was not making all the elements of the top the same thickness and thinking the wood thicknesser would take care of it. Guess what? It didn't. I spent four hours sanding this guy just so it was level. A lot of cuts in the table saw and the miter saw were made and a lot of use of that orbital sander and the um, belt sander, I forgot what it's called. So this short segment here is how I built those cool designs to sit in between the letters on the top. Didn't feel much of it, but it took a really long time to do. In hindsight, I kind of wished that I never put those patterns on because it makes the top look a bit messy and um, it just took a really long time to do. I set up the circular saw, the wood and the weights for the next part of the video. So the epoxy frame was next on the list. I cut up the mold on the four sides using melanin and MDF so the epoxy wouldn't stick. Chucked some glue and clamps on the frame. Then I screwed some holes in. Then took it over to a different place. Then we cleaned it up, cleaned the surface at the top, sprayed some non-sticking spray, added some silicon so the epoxy wouldn't seep out. And normally you're meant to apply the silicon with a paddle, paddle stick, but I did it with my finger because I'm just crazy. I'm not sure why, but the applying of the silicon took a really long time and yeah. So the silicon was being dealt with and we got ready for the pour. We had part A and part B tabletop epoxy. Mixed up a little bit to apply on the top of the night, sorry, to apply on the top the night before so the epoxy wouldn't seep through when we actually did the pour. Unfortunately, I lost most of the footage from the actual pour, so I'm just going to skip straight to when I finished it. Originally, the epoxy was very clear with only a few mistakes but the mistake I made was sanding it at 40 grit. At 40 grit, which was a massive mistake because it put a lot of scratches into the epoxy, which made the end product murky. 
I started with 40 grit, 120, 240, 320, 400, and all the way in between until I finally got up to 3000 grit, hoping that it would get rid of the mercury. These next few clips are the letters C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N-A, which spells Christina. I wanted to make the letters in epoxy because I thought they'd look cool. I just sandwiched some Meribu with some pine to make the wood contrast with the I love you letters. So how I got the letters is I cut them into strips, Chuck went onto the bandsaw and cut them out in the perfect letter shape. I forgot to add the footage of me applying the beautiful golden handles that you see at the end of the product. But the final step was applying finish. I was thinking about applying stain, but I liked the extra glossy spray from Bunnings. It made the spotted gum and the Maribou colors really pop. On the top, I put oil and treated it like a chopping board, which is another big mistake. I wish I put beeswax on the epoxy and maintain the spray for the top. If you made this far into the video, you may as well subscribe, chuck us a like, leave a comment, do all that thing, or, you know, do all those things, and um, there you are, the final product. Hopefully she likes it. Many more projects coming soon. Got a massive co coffee table I've done, and I've made a desk as well. I'm also going to do a new project. Um, excited for the future. Bye.